Next up, Pharaoh Labs. Oh, I didn't make it a grand entrance. Why don't you stay, stay by the stage, man? Come on up here. Yeah, clap. Sure. You have time. All right, you're on the clock, man. Hello, everyone. My name is Bert Grant. I'm CEO of Pharaoh Labs. And at Pharaoh Labs, we're an industrial machine learning software company. Our goal is to build the next generation Six Sigma tools that rely on modern AI and machine learning to improve factories' processes. There's a very big problem in the industrial sector, I think we're all aware of it. There's a lot of data, and the tools that are there for analyzing this data are not keeping up. So this is one of our actual uh, customers. It's a steel mill. Uh, it contains about 12,000 sensors in one of their production lines. So you can think of these as things like temperature readings, uh, the thickness of the steel coils, the amount of pressure that was applied to it, so a lot of data. And typically, this company is storing about you know, 200 of these sensors and picking out manually five of these for a specific type of uh, analysis for, let's say, improving the quality of their products. Now, the typical answer to uh, a lot of data is uh, machine learning. So this is, these are techniques, advanced statistical techniques used uh, by tech, uh, the tech sector. So they are very good at certain things. They are very good at leveraging a lot of data and at really gaining a lot of insight from large amounts of data. They are adaptive, which means that when Uber is running an algorithm, they don't have to rerun a project to update it. As data is coming in, the algorithms are updating themselves and providing the most recent and most fresh uh, outputs and predictions. And they're unbiased. What this means is that they're very good at looking at the entire data set and, and gaining a lot of insights without requiring a human to pick out uh, some of the subset of data based on their expertise. But still, if you look at the industrial sector, the typical tools that are being used in the industrial sector still have a lot of merits. They're not very good at analyzing large amounts of data, but they have certain two things that are very important. And this is the reason why they're still used and they're still valid to this day. So these tools are like Six Sigma or, or Lean Manufacturing tools. And they're great at giving you root causes to, the, to their predictions. So let's say Google is trying to predict what's on a picture, if there's a cat or not on a picture. They don't just have to do that very well. They don't have to describe to you why they think there's a cat on the picture. They just have to have a very good uh, hit rate. But in a factory, you don't want to just know that there's going to be a problem with one of your products. You want to actually find out why the root cause of that problem. Because in a factory setting, the goal is not just to predict, but to find the root cause and fix it so that this problem doesn't happen again. And Six Sigma is great for that. And they're also great at providing some kind of confidence in their predictions. So that in a factory, an employee can uh, decide whether they should trust the result of a model, a statistical model, or not. Well, at Fero, we focus on a very specific subset of uh, machine learning called uh, statistical machine learning or Bayesian machine learning. And here, what we aim to do is to really gain the benefit from uh, the traditional uh, Six Sigma methods and machine learning. Our methods are great for leveraging a lot of information. Uh, they're adaptive and they're unbiased. But very importantly, our methods are also what we call white box or actionable. And what this means is that we're very good at telling you the root cause of a problem so that again, you can go back and, and fix it. So there's many uh, machine learning companies that I'm sure you've seen a lot. So uh, I'm gonna dive right into what, what, what sets us apart. Our tool is a, a cloud-based software. Uh, it can also run on-premise in the factory. And what it allows you to do is to uh, give your engineers the power of cutting edge machine learning. Using an interface like this one, your engineers can upload data from data that's already available in the factory, and then use the tool to predict quality issues, to improve the yield of a chemicals process or a, a, a any kind of quality related uh, process, and then forecast future factory conditions for maintenance. Uh, and in this case, one of the relevant uh, projects that we're doing is with an OEM about collecting data in their body shop and then analyzing an anomalies uh, of data coming from robots to predict robot um, uh, problems. The interface looks somewhat like this. When you log in, uh, your engineers see uh, different types of analyses that were pre-made uh, that are programmed into the system. So uh, let's say if you want to improve the quality of your products, you pick the quality uh, option and then answer some questions about your specific data set. So this is what uh, an example from the steel sector. So let's say uh, in the case uh, that I presented earlier, the steel factory collects these thousands of data points, they load it up, and then they want to predict and optimize the mechanical properties of their steel coils. So in this case, things like tensile strength or yield strength. They upload it, uh, and we automatically, our software builds them a model that can very accurately predict the quality of steel uh, in this production. 
So in this case, we'll compare it to a typical Six Sigma method, and you can see that we do much, much better. But more importantly, we can also build automatically an interface like this one that allows your engineers to change certain parameters and run simulations in your process and see what the resulting uh, production would be like without spending any time or energy actually building something. Now, you might be wondering why I'm talking about steel since this is still clearly not a steel uh, talk. But this is actually very gener generalizable to any kind of discrete products. So if you have, uh, we've been applying it to uh, paint defects in a paint shop, we've been applying it to fuel tanks in a, a tier one auto supplier, uh, or it could be applied to any kind of discrete product, let's say uh, tires or transmissions or any kind of discrete uh, production. So these are some of the other examples. Um, our methods are very good at, uh, when they've been used by a chemical plants to optimize a very large, a thousand parameter chemicals plant and telling them how they should change things to optimize the yield. Uh, and then you can see some other examples also in the auto sector. Uh, and we are uh, looking for a proof of value project, so if you're interested, uh, definitely come talk to us. Uh, we're around today. Thank you. Thank you.